hello everyone welcome back today in this video we are going to discuss about what is repository pattern and how to implement this into our project so let's give it a read in simple word the repository pattern in a laravel application is bound between models and controller so repository means that we are going to follow the laravel uh, not laravel it's a solid principle so solid principle says that a single class would be responsible for single functionality so it means that we are let me go to the project so in the project here we are doing uh, our stuff here like uh, we are getting all the user here and then uh, returning it to the view but solid says that uh, you need to do these type of logics into some uh, other files and then this controller is responsible for only connecting the user with the some other classes or stuff like that because this class uh, this controller is not responsible for uh, executing the logical layer right so you don't need to write your logic so you need to perform this somewhere else and then you need to get the output from there and then pass it uh, to this uh, controller and then return it from this view uh, to the blade so it means that we are refactoring this code into some other files in a structured way and then we are going to get to uh, uh, get those data here and then we are going to pass this data to this view so we are not going to perform any logic here right okay so let's go here so let's think example we have a customer table in our database where we can add store and delete data so basically this is about crud application we also so this is uh, basically about uh, any of the things so you can implement it to uh, any of your controllers so not it's specific about crud basically this example is about crud application we also have a customer model idea is going we are creating an interface define some methods like this so first question arises that why we are creating the interface so what is interface right so this uh, here it's uh, created this uh, interface test interface so basically these interfaces are used to maintain the skeleton of our application so it means that we have created this interface and we have write that public function all right and then we have implemented this interface into our controller right so then we need to must implement this uh, function right so if we did not implement this it's going to throw an exception that you need to uh, initialize this method right so it's means that it's restricting us to follow the same method we uh, we cannot call different methods so we need to exactly define this into our other file right so which we are extending uh, which we are where we are implementing this interface so we can uh, will be clear when we are going to implement this so now i'm going to uh, create this interface right so i'm going to not going to test interface i'm going to create the user interface why because i'm implementing the user crud so it's totally based on your requirement right so then question arise that where we need to create the interface so you need to let's click on this go uh, app Uh, basically it's your personal preference so you can store it anywhere you want but most of the suggested answer is you need to store this into the app directory so in the app you need to uh, uh, create a directory of contracts so hope you are familiar with the laravel contracts so basically laravel contracts are interfaces so you can store this into the interfaces or contracts directory so i'm going to save this into the contracts right here contracts and then here in this contract i'm going to create an interface so what interface i'm going to create it for the user that's why i'm defining this as user so user interface dot php right save this one and let's now add the simple namespace at the top so it's a uh, php oops and here i'm going to add this so uh, namespace and what is the namespace so namespace would be app slash uh, contracts contracts okay and then i'm going to uh, 
implement a class which class i am naming this same which we uh, name this interface so i am not going to create the class i am going to create the interface so i need to type here interface right and then i need to call the interface what interface user interface so i'm not going to copy any of the things because uh, people will learn uh, learn it from this how they can uh, write manual code uh, how i'm doing the manual code so they will learn exactly that uh, what i'm doing here so if i copy this code they will get confused right so here i'm going to implement to uh, first to here this would call also a message uh, method signature so i'm going to define a method signature public function all and i don't need to uh, add its bracket i need to close this here like this so this is the method signature we added this method signature and then we are going to implement this into our uh, another file right so here this one is implemented all then it's going to implement this uh, get store and update and stuff like that right so i'm not going to do them in at once because people will be get confused so i'm going to first uh, uh, call this and then we are going to implement the other one step by step okay so then you can also uh, give it for this tutorial our interface name is test interface we have five method and stuff like that and then we are going to create the test repository right so this one is class which will be uh, extend the interface so then question arise that where we need to create these repositories so let's go here go to this uh, app directory in the app here you need to type uh, repositories right okay so it's added here and then i'm going to add a user repository because i'm going to create the user stuff here so user repository not uh, repositories because it's going to represent only one user user repository dot php okay also i'm going to add the namespace at the top and it's similar like we added this in the edit for the interface so here namespace and namespace would be app slash repositories right so here i'm going to add a class so now i'm going to create a new class and i'm going to extend the interface here right so my class name would be the user repository okay this one and here what i'm going to do so now let's go back and here we are uh, defining our method here so we are uh, not going to add this in our controller right so we are uh, getting all the user here and we are returning it here right and then we are i'm also going to tell you that how we can call this right so now let's uh, come to our controller and here i'm going to get this user this line right and then i'm going to this user repository and here i'm going to first to create a new method so what's i'm not i'm not going to i'm going to basically implement this for interface because we uh, define this in the interface and here we are define uh, we um, define the method signature and here we are defining our uh, method right so what's the method it's method with all right and then you need to uh, call this like this right save this one right and i need to add this at the top so save this one and yes it's edit top and if you are not familiar with this how i edit this at the top so i have full uh, series on it that how you can add the different extension to boost your development so you can get uh, get this playlist from my youtube channel so this will be very beneficial uh, beneficial for you and it will boost your development process right this one set up vs code for laravel so it's so uh, very easy right so let me check the video size oh my video size is going very bigger so i'm going to cover the remaining stuff in the next video so here we created this uh, all and then we are going to implement the interface here and then we are going to call this method so I will meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.